Um, good practice today. It was great to be back out here two days in a row. We finished up our first and second down game plan today. Um, I thought the skill was a lot better today. Throwing and catching was good to get out here for the second day in a row. Um, we will uh, this afternoon uh, be in study hall getting ready for our finals for tomorrow. We'll take tomorrow off and then we'll come back on Tuesday and uh, do third down emphasis uh, on that day. Um, with that, any questions that y'all might have, you can feel free to ask me. With the, the time off that you had in uh, the UCLA game the last game, how do you get up to speed with, uh, you know, tackling open space stuff and that kind of thing, uh, having had the time off yeah. and protecting the yeah. and As you've seen, we've been, we've been having our shells or tops on every day. You know, we've been having pads on every day just so we can get the physical contact. You know, when you get into your 15th ball game of, of the year, you know, you get to that later part of the season, you, you got to be able to save some freshness of legs but still be able to, to hit a little bit. So we've cut down the practice time a little bit. You see we're out here about an hour and a half, but we're going to keep those shells on so we can get pad level, we can get that contact that we need rather than just dancing around in, in street is, clothes. Is that the thing that's hardest to approximate, like the open field tackling Yeah, stuff? Yeah, no, no question. And you can see that what I really like how Clancy does, you can see those guys in the back end thud up and, and be able to stay up. These guys really practice like pros. They're not going to try to take their teammates' head off. They're really trying to thud up uh, correctly and then let the runner go so he can finish his, his rep. Was there ever a time this year where Marquise Lee was 100%? I'm going to tell you what, he's looking really good right now. I mean, he is, I think the last two days of practice has, have been his best of the year, to be honest with you. He's really practicing like a pro. Um, and you can see the health the health coming back with, with each day. So, um, Makes it makes our job a lot easier when he's healthy. I know that. How much did it change that he wasn't this year for, for how you used him? Well, you know, one was the reps. You know, when we first got him back after the Arizona State injury, we had to, you know, make sure we had the correct number of reps. We went into the Oregon State game and really thought we could only get about 20 to 25 reps. And now you're sitting there going, wow, he can play a full game. Uh, he, he can go in and get the, you know, 40 to 50 reps that may be needed to win this game. It's not just uh, not just him, but you've got all your tight ends and all your wide receivers. Yeah. What's that like for uh, offensive coordinator? I tell you what, we we really challenged uh, we really challenged the skilled players in our team meeting today. That that's going to be a huge point of emphasis in us being successful in this game is them really playing well. You, you know, being able to as much pressure as you get. Fresno State, obviously your skill are going to have some one-on-one -on -one matchups and they got to be able to perform and, we, and then Cody's got to be able to hit those shots. So um, it, it's a, it's good to have them back. I know that. It makes it makes it a lot easier to play call. What did, Mar what did Marquise show you this year just as far as battling to come back and to give you whatever it was? That yeah, uh, toughness. Uh, you know, him and Randall Telfer won the Chris Carlisle Award the other night and, and, that, and that award goes to guys that just – they're going to do whatever it takes to get back. They're going to fight through any injury. They're going to fight through adversity. And those two guys have, uh, Randall and, and Marquise. And Marquise, uh, you know, it just goes to show at Stanford how, how unselfish he is. You know, to go back out there on fourth and two, not, you could have kept him out of that play if you wanted to. And he goes out there, makes that play, and really won the game for us. And he's done that all year for us. So, you know, he, it's not the year prior when he was the Litnikoff winner. But still to have him out there, he's always a threat. Uh, healthy or not healthy, you've got to cover that guy. What's your uh, view of this tight end, potential of tight end progression? I, I'm going to tell you, um, Xavier Grimble, as you, you, you can see, uh, he when he's healthy, he's as talented as anybody out there. I think he's a uh, personnel nightmare, I think, for defenses because of the matchup he creates on linebackers and safeties. Um, <clears throat> and he can run. He, he can run vertical. And all our guys can, when they're healthy, Jalen can do the same thing. Um, Randall, when he's healthy, that they have tremendous speed and athleticism at that position, and they're tough guys. You know, that's what I love about them. Is as much as we run the ball, also, you know, they're ready to mix it up and don't mind blocking. So they're they're a special creature, and uh, glad they're with us. On that same note, Fresno State gave up over a thousand yards in their last two games. What does that mean for the potential of your offense? Well, I, it was really the San Jose State. Uh, I thought they did really well versus Utah State. If you look at that game, you know that's that's a 24-7 game until late, uh, late in that corner. If you look at their last six games, you know if you erase that San Jose State game, 
look at the rest of those games. I mean, you're talking in the teens for points wise. This is a very good defense, and and I love how their mentality. I think Coach Two does a great job of stopping the run. That's their best category. They load the box. They're always going to have an extra number in there, and they're committed to stopping the run. So that doesn't mean we're not going to run the ball. Uh, we're going to we're going to do what we do. Uh, and see if they can stop us. But also, you better be effective in the pass game or, or you're going to have a tough day. Cody said before that, you know, since he's been here the last three years, he's seen you literally more than anybody, uh, even his family. So for you coaching this game, you know, is it a little, you know, what's experience like him now? We haven't worked with him for so long. Now you get to be his head coach in this morning. Well, I, I tell you, it's um, any anytime you recruit a young man and, and you bring him in and you're in the room with him and he's in your core group, <laughs> Whether it's Cody Kessler, or Max Whitt, Max Brown, those guys in that room, you literally see them go from boys to men. And to see the, that group of men, the way they handle themselves in the classroom, the way they handle themselves uh, off the field, on the field, how they compete, uh, it's a joy. You, you always, you always hope your players are a reflection of you. And, uh, and I'm proud to say that I'm associated with Cody Kessler. The unique nature of this game with coaches and players having their last game here. Is there maybe going to be more gambling or risk taking offensively to do things in I don't think we're going to save one bullet in this game. <laughs> is this by far the healthy, healthiest you've been at those two uh, positions, tight end and, and wide receiver? Yeah, I would, I would say so. You know, where we're, where we're a little limited and everybody needs, every Trojan fan needs to cross their fingers is on the offensive line. Um, you know, that, that group, though experienced, um, we don't have great numbers. We have some emergency plans that are in place. If we lose a center, if we if we lose a tackle, um, you know. But as far as the skill positions go, tight end is great right now. Um, Wideouts is great. Probably going to have two to three backs. We'll see. You know, I know Buck is healthy and, and Ty is healthy. We'll see about Trey. I don't think Silas is going to make it. And you always got uh, big tank in there. You know, big big hammerhead. I mean, he's, he's good to hand the ball to, and he showed at Colorado what he can do with, it, and, and with the ball in his hand. So we can always use him. Let's do one more. Realistically, what point does Trey have to be kind of back in there practicing for you think he has a shot at playing this uh, game? You know, we, got, we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you know, so we're still early. Today's Sunday. Game day Saturday. So we, we've got some time, you know. It, when you, you would hope by, you know, somewhere in that Tuesday, Wednesday range, you, you see how he is. If it's it's not there, you know, we're never going to put a kid out there and get him hurt. Thank goodness we have Buck Allen and Ty Isaac and Soma, uh, those guys that can get the job done. Thank All right, guys, you're